Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here, and I want to uh, record a quick video. I always say they're gonna be quick videos, but this one really will be hopefully quite quick, demonstrating uh, a way that you can use or a method you can use to try to find for yourself a good uh, cellular connection in Israel. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you just sort of like my research process I went through and just a resource I came across because I think it is a useful resource. Um, it may not be the only one, there's probably other pieces of info out there, but uh, just this one little table, um, assuming it's kept updated, will be quite handy in terms of figuring out what network is going to be. Firstly, whether your phone's compatible with the network, I already did a, already did a video on that. And secondly, what frequencies a particular um, cellular company is going to use. And the reason that that is uh, useful is because in Israel, like in most, uh, in many geographies now, you have the separation, you have both mobile network operators and MNOs, and you have mobile virtual network operators, which are companies that uh, resell other companies' infrastructure. So they use the towers of other uh, cell phone companies and they sell packages to consumers. Now think about it, Israel's a small country. It doesn't make sense when you consider the number of cell phone companies here if every single company had its own infrastructure, the country would be brimming full of cell phone towers. Um, so <clears throat> that's not the case, and you actually have a number of resellers. So I um, just wanna show you how we came across this resource, and I'm gonna just you know, do the linguistic basics. Cellular frequencies, good old Google Translate here, and to Hebrew, and uh, it's Tederim Cellularim. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not ashamed to say this is often my starting point is uh, what's that weird, what's that word for frequencies used in the sense of, you know, uh, radio frequencies. Second, uh, second thing I do is run it through Morphix. I got to know what the vowelization is because uh, you don't know in Hebrew off the bat. So te is it, is it a tether or is it a tudo or is it what? So I just went for frequency, put that through Morphix. And quickly enough, it came back to me with a uh, noun for frequency. And you can see it has here tether and morphix gives me the vowelization. So that is a nice thing to have from morphix. So uh, now that I know that, um, I can at least not make a fool of myself when I go into a uh, cell phone store and say, is a tether a reshet? Um, I can pronounce it right, which is good. So what I did then is um, just ran this through Google. I mean, I don't need to copy, but I'm being lazy and avoiding typing here. Tederim salolariim. And um, firstly, there's a Wikipedia in uh, Hebrew and English, and this will sort of give you an overview of who's who and what frequencies they are using, I thought was here. Ah, yeah, tedere hasalolar. And this is table one, let's call it, from Wikipedia. Um, and we can just compare in a second with table two, but this is a research process. The reason I recommend doing this in Hebrew is because it's just always less, uh, you're, you're always gonna have a harder time sourcing information in English in, in Israel. And um, you can even use this if you're not living in Israel, you just wanna figure these things out. So um, this lists basically the, uh, the different companies, and I don't know how accurate this is, but we can compare it with this and you can compare those two sources with you know, asking the phone company. Now why this matters, I'm, I'm going to be doing a video soon on building out a, hopefully an amazing internet connection. I'm going to be setting up for myself a bonded internet connection. That's one that uses both internet beti, sapak and tashtit, and cellular internet, puts those two together in a hardware device that um, is going to do stuff like high availability and speed up the speed. Up the speed. So that's um, hopefully gonna get us over our, our hunch of having a hard time uh, finding good internet here in Jerusalem. So that was resource number one and the resource, but the resource I wanted to show you guys was Tikla. Tikla2, Tikla2.com is the domain. Now I know I have some of my screen cropped, so I'm just gonna put that here in a notepad. This website is Tikla2, Tikla2.com. And uh, it says, Tikla Tukva, which I think means like connect already, right? Or is it saying get, get reception already? Tikla Tu, in the imperative sense, it means. 
Absorb, so yeah, that clearly not means doesn't mean absorb. I guess connect already. So um, it says Rishimat. I hear my best Hebrew pronunciation. Gonna gonna be uh, wheeled out here. It says Rishimat atederim hasalolariim byisra el kan tochlu levdok beilu tederim chevat hasalola shelachem mishta meshet. So you can check here which frequency your cell phone company. Uses. Now, why am I making such a big song and dance about this little chart that I'm doing a YouTube video? You may answer, you may wonder that question. And I will tell you why it's for this little chart here uh, because it's really, really useful. And I'll explain why momentarily. So what this website's done here is uh, created here, as you can see, um, it has the frequencies for 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. But instead of listing it company by company, it's done this in a more logical fashion and it has listed what I believe is the mobile network operator, partner, telephone, and cellcom. This chart, and I checked the update date. Now I'm just being totally geeky here for a moment. It didn't say, so I went ahead and did this weird method of searching for the date a website was published. Super, uh, super kind of weird, right? So um, there was a date stamp there. Linux time converter, I think, is the one we need. Epochconverter.com. And I converted the timestamp to human readable format. And this told me that the website was published on quite recently, 13th of January, 2021. Whether that was published or um, that was updated, then I'm not, not so sure. But uh, this would suggest that it's relatively recent. So ticklishtime.com here. And so these guys have grouped it into partner, telephone, and cellcom. And under each, they have put what I believe each company here is an MVNO. So you can see partner, the MV, MVNOs, a partner are 012, hot, 019, and next. The MVNOs of telephone are Walla, Rami Levy, Select Tixoret, High Mobile, and Guinea P Mobile. And of cellcom, they're saying it's Golan and We4G. Now, again, the reason this matters is because if you're trying to figure out what connectivity is gonna work well in your area for, let's say, 4G or 5G, then to the best of my knowledge, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, connect, correct me in the comments, please. The connectivity you get over the MVO and the MVNO in an area on the same band should be pretty similar, if not the exact same. So it saves you some digging, you just need to know whose infrastructure your phone company in Israel is actually using. And it's one of three options according to this chart. So um, the only one I would caution about is We4G because We4G, We4G Salcom, they were recently in a legal spat and um, they've been sold to Free Telecom, which is another MVNO in Israel. It's all very confusing. Uh, free Telecom Tedarim. So you can go down this kind of, you know, rabbit hole of trying to figure out. <laughs> you can even look through government PDFs here uh, to try to discern this information. But I just want to cover the basics of not going, to, not going too deep into that rabbit hole. This is a really useful chart. Um, I didn't compare yet this with this, but, you know, do your own digging, compare with the phone company. But uh, check, check out this website. It lists three different... Um, I hope they're going to keep it updated. Uh, it's, you know, it gives you the MVNOs for the MVOs, sets out their frequencies. And therefore, uh, if you're looking to see um, you know, what is going to work. So you can say, for instance, well, We4G 1800 uh, did not work. So if We4G and Golan are the same, then it's probably not going to be better reception for We4G, Golan or Cellcom because they're all probably, this, it's all, they're all the same infrastructure. And therefore, if that didn't work in my area, then maybe let's try Telephone Partner or one of their MVNOs. So I hope that that was somewhat sensical. Um, thank you for, for traveling down into the depths of the cellular connectivity research rabbit hole with me. Um, the cellular network, uh, cellular market in Israel is competitive because of the fact that it was made to be competitive. And therefore, there's a lot of these companies, but if you're trying to figure out what's going to work, you can simplify the, your research process by doing a bit of digging, figuring out who is, who is really using who, 
what frequencies they're uh, broadcasting at and then that makes it quite easy to see well what kind of kind of what kind of performance are you likely to get and what are your devices going to be compatible thank you guys for watching more videos like this feel free to subscribe to this youtube channel